Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're continuing with our series, Anatomy of a Mix. Today we're going to explain how we mix the song Tennessee Tea by Cumberland Road, country rock band. I co-wrote, produced, played a bunch of things on it, so I hope you enjoy it. Right, let's dig in. Okay, let's look at the acoustics. So we have one acoustic guitar that's doubled. Now, what's interesting is we have this Papoose, which is a tenor guitar. It's sort of way, my way of emulating a mandolin without learning to tune it and string it up. And then we have a guitar that's capoed up pretty high. So that's a little different voicing and it's a little lower than the than the papu so it supports under it and then the acoustics fill out more of a broader spectrum so let's hear all the acoustics together in the chorus so let's examine these two plugins on the aux master and see how much they do so here's the acoustics without these two on So you can see what this Billy Decker does like some quick magic to get it tucked in. So alone, you might say, well, I liked him better without all that stuff on. But the trick is they have to fit in the track. So the acoustic takes up a, a double a double job. It does harmonic duties by outlining the chords, but it does rhythmic duties. So the strumming is almost like a shaker hi-hat or tambourine in the, in the choruses especially. And they get fed to that Valhalla medium room app. Let's go down and look at those actually right now. So I have a bunch of reverbs for the band. So I have a blend verb, which is a, a cello studios room. I have two of them. They're set a little different ones longer than the other. I can send everybody to that in varying degrees to make you feel like it was cut in, in one room and not overdone. And then I also have available for the guitars. I have a medium room. And then I have a small room, which is a uh, little wooden room. And that's great for vocals when you don't want it to be super wet and be a little dry. So you have a bunch of different lengths of reverbs and types tonally. And if you notice under here, they all have an SSL channel, but they're bypassed. So if I need to EQ them, you know, to make them fit better, that, that'll work. So let's slide up to the electric guitars. 